Hi Angie. Last time you were here, we agreed you would install Cometrix Smart FOIP based products here to allow us to get rid of our POTS lines. But I'm curious, just what does Smart FOIP do that other FOIP servers and gateways don't do? Well, it's actually very simple while it is very clever. Most FOIP calls over carrier networks begin as a voice call using G711 pass through. That means that the two endpoint fax terminals can actually hear each other over the RTP connection at the very beginning of the call, even if the gateways and servers end up switching to T38. But if that switch to T38 takes more than 6 to 8 seconds, and it often does, those two fax terminals can get so far into their T30 protocol that they cannot be interrupted with a switch to T38 without destroying the fax session. Before Cometrix invented Smart FOIP, every gateway in the industry just blindly accepted any T38 re-invite, even if the two terminals were well into their conversation. That's why Cometrix calls it the late T38 re-invite problem. How does Smart FOIP keep that from happening? Well, that's the simple and clever part. Smart FOIP attaches a V21 modem, that's the fax negotiation modem, to the media streams from the call's very beginning. It decodes what the two terminals are saying to each other. And if they get beyond what we call the point of no return, Smart FOIP tells the SIP control software to decline any T38 re-invite from that point on. Wow. That is simple and clever. I hope they've applied for a patent. Yes they have. And it turns out that there is more to the pattern than what I've explained. I'm afraid that I'm late for my next meeting, so it will have to wait. Will you explain that to me when you are here next? Of course. See you then.